Good day, night time here. I'm up on deck 88 of the Eureka Tower today. So I'll give you a bit of a look around. I've got the camera angled down a bit. As you can see, I'm up fairly high. I'll give you a better look in a few minutes. Here we have a, uh, a viewing cylinder, I guess, which I think is points towards the uh, spirit of Tasmania as well. Yes, it is. And we have the ferry. Let's zoom back out again. Apologies if you get dizzy. That's a bit of an image of what we see when I look in. It's a mirrored surface on the inside of the uh, six-sided viewing hole. Okay, I'm going to find the corners. You probably hear the echo from it. There's uh, the river down there. Reflection, I apologise for that. Not much I can do about it. There I am. Hello. <laughs> okay, what we have here is a uh, what's called an Aussie pressed pennies machine. What it does is it's on various shapes. Uh, so I'll show you the various shapes. Okay, here we have the uh, various shapes. You may have to put your head upside down to see some of them. You do is put to choose the design you want, crank the handle, and out comes a penny. This looks much like this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all four um, designs here, and at Bridge Tube, if you can find me, I'll give you one. Just I say, Can I have a penny, please? Here we go. The one of Australia first. Then it dropped in. And a copper coin dropped down to the slot there. And then do this. The copper coin drops down into the mechanism. And I can feel that the um, doing the pressing key because it's a lot harder to turn the handle. And again, you can probably hear the coin come out. And there's the Australia one. Okay, I'll do the other two. And once again, like I said, if you can find me in Bruce Tube, just ask me for a copper penny. And if I have one still, I shall give you one. Here we have what appears to be a water taxi in Melbourne. Or a, uh, at the very least, a... Um, tourist craft. Here we have the uh, art centre of Melbourne with its lovely tall spire. Here we have a shot of Flinders, Flinders Railway Station. 
A few days ago, I was in Federation Square, which is just there. So here I've met some YouTubers. I was in the atrium, which is underneath that building in the centre there. That's the atrium. There's cafes and so forth in there. Uh, that's the information centre. I met, uh, I saw some busking, you may have seen the busking video I took, which was taken, you may have seen uh, some a busking video I took, it was taken from that seat right there, by that man's walking past, I was sitting there filming to that area there, and the MCG I think is over there. MCG stands for Melbourne Cricket Ground. Not very uh, original, but hey. That's another part of the observation deck over there, the glass uh, windows. Well, that's uh, the um, panoramic views that I could uh, get. I'll be going out to the edge soon, I think. I'm going off the edge, around the twist, up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever takes your fancy, I guess. Well, I'm a bit upset that uh, they wouldn't let me take my camera into the queue. The pathetic excuse they give is no loose items. I think that's bullshit, personally. I think they just want to make the money out of you by you having to pay for the one or two rather pathetic pictures they take of you. The picture they take of you is just basically you standing up against the back of the queue. You could be against any wall anywhere in the world. So, who, re who would really want to pay $25 or $15 for that? So, yeah. You know, maybe, I'd pay maybe if it showed the view down. But since it doesn't, it's pointless paying for it, so I'm not going to. Okay, rant over. See at the aquarium. Okay, well that ends my uh, trip up to uh, floor 88 on Eureka Tower. Okay. So, that's much better picture than what we get. In there. <laughs> so, how fast does it take to go down? So we're outside the Eureka Tower and we're going up, 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 and there we go. I was up there somewhere.